This new ChatGPT update is going to change the world. I'm going to show you how you can create your very own GPT. And if you follow me for programming or you're a developer, then you definitely want to watch this video to the end because this is definitely going to change the future of the programming space. But in general, anything regarding AI that you can think of, let's go ahead and see what is possible with this new GPT version. So right off the bat, we can see this is the current ones I have pre-built. And also just the way to get this is there should be a button that says explore. Just click on that and I'll show you the screen. And you can see we have Dow E, which is already integrated. They just updated it to where you don't have to go in separately and click on it, which basically can create AI images. We can see data analysts, game time, negotiator, creative coach for writing. You can think of laundry buddy. So think of how you got laundry problems. GPT could help you with that. We even got chefs. These are already uh, pre-generated already. Now you want to know how to create your very own. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Create a GPT. Now, for the sake of this video, since a lot of my content's around programming, let's go ahead and see if it can build us a programmer. Now, if you aren't interested in that particular field, simply replace whatever I type with whatever you want it to be. So you want it to be a laundry expert, cooking expert. I don't even know what it is. Feel free to just type that in. So here I wanna say, make a front end engineer and let's basically says who is an expert at coding websites now let's see what GPT builder does for us and also if you do not have ChatGPT, you can simply sign up and then follow along or simply wait until after and then test this stuff out yourself and now we can see here we have created looks like a front-end engineer GPT and let's say name it sure okay that name works don't really care about the name all i care about is the ability to actually write the code which we will find out in just a moment so here look at this it's generating a profile picture so this thing is straight up building out a full-fledged looks like avatar character personality ai thing right now and here is our image which i'm assuming they use dali 3 for this and i mean it looks good to me it looks good to me and now it's saying, let's fine tune it. Let's see, specific behaviors and languages say, let's do this, let's keep it vague just to see. Cause ideally people, if they're creating something, they might not know exactly what to do. So let's just say focus strictly on front end code, which if you understand coding, there's specific languages that are just for front end. And then there is the back end. But if I were making this about, I don't know, a chef, I wouldn't really know what to specify assuming I am just starting out. But obviously if you're a fancy Michelin star restaurant chef, then you might know exactly what to keep. But let's go here and let's see. Guiding users take hands on approach. Code snippets should be focused on need complete code. I want this to essentially replace a human. I want this to be able to write everything with me just simply saying, write this, write that, write this. and that's ideally what I'm predicting this is going to be. And let's see, personality should be, let's say chill, but efficient. I can't even spell probably, hold on. Chill, but efficient. Cause I don't really care, professional, casual, it doesn't matter. What it matters is, does it give me the correct answer and does it do it quickly? All right, so now we can see taking shape, uh, any refinements looks good, looks good to me. Now let's go ahead, I'm assuming this will be the right side here where I'll type in everything I need to do. Okay, so we can make adjustments if we need to. So there, right there, you can see that's essentially the setup. And now this is the uh, configure. So we can see like the name, looks like the image here. And this is kind of like a account. Like you ever opened up uh, like social media accounts, you put your profile picture, your description, that's literally what it feels like here. So now let's pretend you have a client or let's say you want to build a website whatever it is let's just let's just pretend we have a client and say write code for a front end website for my and insert your client industry so let's make life easy and let's say real estate and hit enter i forgot to put clients at the end 
But uh, hey, that's the mistake. Let's see if ChatGPT knows what to do. All right, so I'm guessing, even, okay, technically, if, let's say if I didn't put client, it could assume I'm making a real estate website as well. And let's see how it does it. So it has its styles already put in here with the nav bars. Okay, this is an interesting approach. So now let's, I could actually change up the way I asked this too. But right now we can see you have full code being written out, which already ChatGPT could do this basic uh, setup if I were to ask it prior to this uh, updates. But now we can see here, we got full body out here. We have the header, we got a section, and let's see what else. We got our footer here, and then we have a JavaScript. And this is, I mean, if people who've done some sort of front end code, this is a pretty good starter uh, template. Obviously, I would separate some things, but uh, let's say I need it for my real estate clients. And then let's see if it updates the code or if whatever reply it does to this. And now we're gonna say, this is interesting. It's bringing in a lot of stuff that has to do with sales. So understanding clients' needs. So if you understand or study sales, that's something you have to know is what do they actually need? Cause you can't just code out something random. They actually have to put whatever they want in their websites. And we can see here, it, sell, it actually, renames things so it has like real estate brand which you'd replace obviously with their company it's gonna assume that you have it looks like con yeah contact properties agents and then we have here again a similar setup here shows the properties which if you understand it's essentially taking what it would assume a typical real estate website would look like and then just filling it in so obviously if you ever looked at a real estate site it has houses or apartments or whatever it is and that's mainly the main business it just has the photos of the images the uh, availability rent prices you name it and you can see here it is still going out here typing in all this code and let's see so far it's i mean it's explaining things in a nice way and it's writing out code like i asked but let's try to see if we can make this even more how to say helpful because this stuff is pretty basic but i'm gonna what i'm gonna do next is change it to react code which is a little bit more complicated and uh let's see if it's capable of essentially refactoring this code that it showed me oh, here it shows a uh, nav bar and this is simple toggle opening closing all right now let's do this moment of truth uh convert this to react because ideally, you don't want to make a website with just HTML and CSS. And for people who have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't code, basically, there's languages you use that make it better. And obviously, React is a starting point, but then obviously, you can go to frameworks, etc. And take a look at this. Look at this. We got our component and navbar.js. And it's fully writing it out like that. I'm telling you right now, this is pretty cool. Now, let's pretend I have no idea uh, what React is. And I'm a, I literally maybe watched like one video. I'm gonna try to see if it can explain to me what exactly is going on. And especially this is gonna be game changing for first timers or people starting because this is literally going to give you, most likely I'm assuming it's gonna tell you exactly why it wrote that, what each line means. And then from there, like here we can see like dynamic adding in here. So let's go ahead and this is something like, let's percent like you're gonna see this, you see like SRC equals this like curly brace stuff right now. If you know React, you probably already know this, but some people might not be like, what is what does this mean? Like, what, what is this? Uh... And essentially what this does is it uh, allows you to add images and a, basically a, if you have a bunch of data, it allows you to add it in dynamically to where you don't have to type it in manually. So if you have like 100 listings, you don't want to sit there and add in 100 pictures. It's going to just automatically have them within. And... Uh, Look at this, this looks, this is solid. This is solid uh, starting point. Now let me say here, let's go. What does this code mean? And I'll paste it in, hit enter, and so far, let's see what it does. Okay, it says React, yeah, I think my thing's cut off. Whatever, it's not a big deal. You can see most of the text. So here, look, it's literally like a coding teacher at the same time as a developer so you see we got the image tag yup yup i used to see look all right it's moving too fast i can't pause it hold up so here s attributes path yup 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 there we go pearly braces 
embed JavaScript, and then let's see, information for an image users can I view. Okay, yeah, all of that. I mean, that makes sense too. The title, JavaScript for the contains, chart images. Let's see what else here. So here it gives an example. Okay, we got image URL. How's JP? Yeah, example here. All right, so this is like an example right there, and basically, uh, yeah, it's literally telling you what it's going to uh, uh, actually end up showcasing as in terms of the data. And then uh, let me see. Does it explain? You can use curly braces in JavaScript expression attribute path you want to display. So let let's pretend I still don't understand. It's like, but why did you add curly braces instead of just typing it out? Like, let's do SRC for the example here. Uh, you know, pick pick one at JPEG, right? Like that. So this is stuff like actually when I was learning React, I was literally didn't understand, so I was questioning it. So let's see if ChatGPT can explain it to assuming I'm trying to pretend I don't know what it is, and let's see if it actually can give a decent response. Because there's things if you ever coded yourself, there's little details like why is there, what does this mean, what does this mean, and for most people, it if they just start out, that literally is the most frustrating thing ever. But uh, if you uh, once you understand it, obviously you get it, but. Starting out, it's literally the most annoying thing to do is figure out what these little details mean. And let's see here. Okay, once it finishes loading, because it's typing out. So this is this is good. This is really good actually. So it's showcasing HTML code right out the pick. And basically, it says here, tell me how to source the image. And then pretty much, it's saying it more in like I say like a technical manner, but uh. Instance, if you have a list of images and you're mapping through them, so if, what if you don't know what mapping means? Then guess what? You have to ask it, obviously. But uh, basically, you're just going through all the images. So here, this is kind of what I was saying. Like you had a hundred images, for example. This one only has three, and it basically will display it all these three images with the curly braces. Which here, I mean, dynamically. Yep, that's a good keyword to use. And so far, we can see this is. I think this is better. Obviously, I haven't been using ChatGPT as much regarding the. Uh, pre-update for like stuff like this but the fact that we can see this managed to create code convert it and also explain what things mean i think this is going to be game changing again this is a quick update i want to show you guys because a lot of people learning programming stuff you can ask it configure your gpt character whatever you want to call this literally we can do this right here so here you can see i have created a first version with a gpt and this was focused on coding you can go ahead and create another version on literally whatever you want to making pizzas you name it and share your thoughts in the comments below and what have you discovered how powerful is this let me know and aside from that hit that like button and subscribe for more